What is up guys and welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. Thanks so much for watching. I figured that I should probably get out and film because summer is literally over. Winter is coming. Oh gosh, winter is coming. I just, man, I, I'm going to miss you, son. So I'm trying to enjoy it as much as possible. Again, helicopter in a playground. I love it. This is America. Real, real talk. If you're like me, you want to be as prepared as possible when it comes to any kind of photo shoot, any photo session. Take all this time to get all your gear set. You go and do the shoot for several hours. You come back, you edit those beautiful photos, you make them look even better in Lightroom. It looks gorgeous. You go then to export to your desktop, and then you airdrop to your phone. And then I'm like, oh, these look so good on my phone. And then I go to upload to Instagram. And then it's like, Instagram just decides it will take your photo that you took. It took tons of time. It's like Instagram taking your beautiful photos that you just finished creating and editing. You want to showcase those photos to the social media world, to the entire universe. And then Instagram's like, you know what? Let's just <laughs> let's pound it with compression. Like, did I really? Wait, no, I thought that was in focus. It's not sharp. Wait, how? I thought I'd, my contrast look. I put sharpness. Okay, this doesn't look normal. For some reason, I thought this was a lot better. Back to my photo camera roll. Oh, it looks better here. Go back to Instagram. It doesn't look good in, on Insta. Why? I don't know. The struggle is real, okay? And, and I'm just sick of it. Like, I'm totally just sick of it. Sick of it. Like, I don't understand. I took all this time. I uploaded it to the social medias, and it just doesn't look good. It doesn't make me look as a photographer from all this time I put in, and then people are gonna see that, and they're gonna be like, oh, it doesn't look so good. It doesn't look sharp. If you can relate to that, please let me know in the comments below. It's so frustrating. It's so true because we all go through this. A lot of photographers take lots of time to put their thing, their spin, their work, their name on their photos and work, all to find out that it just looks really blurry on Instagram or doesn't give a good representation of what he or she actually took. And so that's what this video is about today. This video is about making your Instagram pics look top notch on Instagram. Also, I'm literally filming on a tank, and it's it's kind of it's a little eerie. So I'm just gonna slowly, slowly just okay. I'm gonna go. I'm, okay, thank you for all those men and women in the military. I thank you. Okay, I am locked and loaded here. I'm ready to go. Let's get into it. What we have here is a picture I took actually on that bridge over there. It's a new YouTubing vlog spot. I love it. And it's a simple picture. It's not nothing great. I didn't, I didn't really work on it. It was just for the IG, okay? And so that's what we're doing right now. So before I even start editing is this. I want to crop it to four by five ratio. What that is going to give me when I do the four by five ratio cropping, it's going to actually fill up, hold on. Uh, when you're scrolling through the Instagram, it's going to fill up the entire screen on your phone. I want more of the cloud since that's kind of the focal point with the camera, I'll press enter. That's great and my edit's all perfect. My cropping is great. I will just right click, I'll export. So this is when Instagram meets Johnny Q's anti-compression thing. I, that's It's not a thing, I just made it up. So essentially this is what I do. Uh, again, a lot of techniques, a lot of ideas and thoughts behind this specific portion of getting you know not compressed images on Instagram. So please just tread lightly, please do some more research, do all the research you can so that you're informed on what's what's best versus just taking my word for it. So as soon as we go to export, uh, your image format will be JPEG. That's just what I've always done. Your color space is gonna be SRJ, not J, SRGB. That yields kind of the most of all of the color, in my opinion. Your quality, I've seen this between 72 and 90 or 100. You know, it, it really doesn't matter because the quality from 72 to 100 isn't that far. Then I won't do anything with the resize to fit the resolution at 300 pixels per inch and then I don't touch anything else that's literally all I do and then I will export that to my desktop and then I will go and airdrop that specific picture from my desktop to my phone and then I'll upload to Instagram Facebook and all the social medias and I'll it'll look good and there you guys have it just a quick run through a quick process of how I upload my Instagram photos taken on DSLR to Instagram and Facebook, all those social medias. So if you guys do something similar or something different, please let me know down in the comments below and just let me know. I'd love to see what you guys are trying. 
And like always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I would love to ask you guys something. Would you please subscribe to the channel? Would you please click that little bell so you get notified when I post videos? And would you please like this video and comment below? I know, I know, so many things, but I know you can do it. Please and thank you. Love you guys. See you guys later on the Johnny Q channel. Peace. The sun's already leaving, and it's like, it's already a little chilly, and oh, whatevs. You know, I'm not mad. I'm mad. You know, I'm, I'm not mad, but I'm mad. Rant is over, but I'm still ranting. All honesty, this spot here that I found, I'm not saying where it is because other people will come here. People already come here, but they're not like vloggers and people who have cameras like this. And I want this spot to be my spot because there's not really a lot of good spots where I live, so I'm pretty pumped.